Hey up, pot pickers. Right, now this is going to be a short bid and it it could leave me feeling um, joyous, ecstatic, um, excited by the end of the video, or I could be very distinctly underwhelmed. Um, what it is, you can tell by the price tag, um, I've purchased something that cost me £2.99. And that was from a local um, charity shop. Um, spotted it located in a dusty corner behind a load of mirrors. Um, just tossed to one side. And I saw the um, part of the picture on the what well, I'm about to show you. And I recognised it straight away. I thought that looks like whatever it is. Um, the reason why um, I've got this nervous anticipation is, um, as you can see by the frame, it's framed in glass. And it's also got a card inlay. It's really, really well framed, is this thing. Um, now, who in the right mind would frame something that doesn't hold any value? And it's not just anything, because if I uh, span back, are you ready? Look at that view here. Now, like I said, this could leave me very, very... Um, <laughs> giddy or not um a best case scenario is that it will be a jamie reed signature hiding somewhere down here in the bottom corner or jamie reed print um or knowing my luck it'll probably say like hmv printed 2005 and it won't even be worth the um, the paper it's printed on but i'm going to go in now and have a look so i shall be back with the um as soon as I'm done. Wish me luck. Just a quick update before I take it apart. On the back of the frame um, is the um, company that actually framed it. There we go. There's a free bit of advertising for them if they're still in business. Um, it must have been a few years ago as there is no web address. So that's a bonus. It shows obviously it's not been printed or put together this frame in the past couple of years. But now uh, the task in hand is to um, split all this tape and try and get the backing off without damaging anything. And then if need be, put it back together as a, a frame for another poster because I've got plenty that will fit in it. Or run around the room shrieking with excitement. Doodaloo. Well, there we are. That's the last one to come up. Um, as you can see, all the way around it was double taped and tacked took me longer than i expected to get all these bloody things out and that little beauty it's now in focus is the last one anticipation's palpable uh, i don't want to get too excited but it's printed on canvas now, as much as I'm probably going to give it the kiss of death, I do know that Jamie Reed posters were printed on like a canvas. Oh, did that all sound a bit dirty sexual or did it just show how excited I am? I don't know. A bit nervous now. All right, we're going in. Wish me luck, Skipper. All right, the backing board's off. And I... <laughs> now just to turn it off and find out what the hell it is. Oh dear God, it's... I don't know what to say. I just hope it's just not a normal print. <laughs> right, taking a look under the corner. Like I said, this is made of, it's like a canvas material. It's not a cheap poster, but unfortunately, it could be unfortunately there is no maker's mark stamp or print on it so i'm gonna to have to do a bit more investigation on this but like i say it is um i don't know if you can see it is like a plastic canvas it's kind of printed on it's textured Hard. we shall see so um no maker's mark, unfortunately. 
I'm still a bit curious to why it's printed on canvas um, and not just paper and why the expensive frame um, it could be a red herring I'm not going to cliche and say another great rock and roll swindle because that would be lame but you know I'll do a bit more investigation at this and um, see what I can come up with uh, yeah trifle disappointed in a way but then again a poster for this size I mean look this is my hand on it so you can see how big it is it's big framed for under three quid yeah it's a bargain but just how much of a bargain is it going to turn out to be we shall see don't forget to breathe in and out